Welcome back to my channel. So, the video that I'm today is going to be how I do my DIY brow tint at home. I use this product right here, and this is called the Instant Eye Brow Tint, and this is by the brand Godfrey. I hope I said it right. So, the shade that I got is dark brown. This is actually what I have on my brows right now. So, the claim of product like this is that it provides six weeks of rich, vibrant eyebrow color, and it's supposed to give great results in less than two minutes. In the back of the box, and it says here that Godfrey Instant Eyebrow Tint is for formulated specifically to darken eyebrows. It's easy to mix and apply. This salon tested formula delivers rich, vibrant eyebrow color and it covers the most resistant gray hair for up to six weeks. I've been doing a DIY brow tint at home since I think September 2015 and I love the result so I kept doing it. This is actually my second box. My first box, the shade that I got was medium brown. I actually like the color medium brown but I feel like after the second or third day the brow tint just looks kind of orange so I decided I'm gonna go darker so I decided to order the dark brown shade. Is that? So yeah, I have been tinting my brows for almost two years now. This is the second time that I ordered this. I got this at Walgreens.com. Like, this is not available in the physical Walgreens store. You can only order this online. And I just now found this out that you can also buy this in Walmart.com. Again, this, this is not available in the physical Walmart store. You also have to order this in Walmart.com or online. And it is actually cheaper if you order there. It's $9.97 in Walgreens. It's $12.97, I think. So yeah, it is cheaper in Walmart. So it's up to you guys where you want to order. So this is how the box looks like. Again, the brand is Cody Froy. The shade that I got is dark brown. In the box, it also tells us what the kit contains. Here's a list of ingredients. There's a disclaimer that this product contains ingredients that may cause skin irritations in certain individuals and a preliminary test according to the company directions should first be made. Always do a patch test. I recommend maybe uh, right here on the back of your hand or right here. Just don't apply this directly on your face or on your brows. This product must not be used for dyeing the eyelashes. This, by the way, is made in the USA. And this product expires 36 months or 3 years after opening it. Now I'm going to show you what the kit contains. So let's open it. First thing is the instruction. Next is the color developer. This is 1.0 or 30 ml. And then there's the pouch right here that contains three different items. The first thing in this pouch is this four brow color capsule. And it is 0.4 ounce or 11 ml per capsule. This is how the capsule looks like. Then there's a mixing cup. And finally, there are four hair color applicators or mixing sticks. This is how the hair color applicator or mixing stick looks like. I usually use this end right here to mix the products and I use this more pointed end to apply the product. Again, this is what the kit contains. There's four brown color capsules with cream developer. There's four hair color applicators or mixing sticks one mixing cup and the instruction sheets. By the way, the instruction is written in English and a couple other languages. So in the instruction, it actually says to pour all the contents of this capsule into the mixing cup. But in my experience, it's just a little bit too much. I feel like it's just a waste of product. I usually, I only use about one third or one fourth of this capsule. So I'm actually able to use one capsule three to four times. So I'm gonna open the capsule by separating the ends. And now I'm going to pour about one third of the product in the cup. That is how it looks like. Now it's time to pour an equal amount of the cream developer into the mixing cup. I like to shake it a little bit. So much ever of the brow color powder you pour in the mixing cup, make sure that you pour an equal amount of the cream developer. And we're just going to mix them up. Using this wooden stick, I'm mixing the powder and the liquid until a creamy consistency is reached. So this is um, the consistency that you want to achieve. Two important things that you are going to need if you're going to tint your brows is you're going to need Q-tips or cotton buds and a damp paper towel. Super duper important. If you make a mistake, you will use this to clean up any mess. And the damp paper towel is going to be used to remove the brow tint. So I just washed my face. I didn't put any toner or moisturizer on. The only thing that's on my face right now is some mascara and some lip liner. It is very important that your face is clean, especially the brow area, so that the product will stick or adhere better. This way, the brow tint will last longer. It's also important that you groom your brows before doing this. It just makes everything 
it's so much easy I already groomed my brows I am pretty satisfied with the shape of my brows right now so all I have to do really is trace it when I tint my brows I'm not very particular with the shape I just want some color in it because as you can see my brows are super light they're thin and sparse so I'm just happy to be able to add some color on my brows so now it's time for the demo. In the instruction here, it actually says that it is best to tint one brow at a time. Allow the color to process completely before starting the second brow, which of course makes sense. Then again, I have been using this product for almost two years now, and I tint my brows both at the same time. But if it's your first time to use this product, to be on the safe side, definitely follow the instruction. Just tint one brow at a time. this end of the stick to mix the product but I forgot as mentioned earlier I use the pointed end of the stick to apply the mixture I don't make things complicated all I really do is trace the um, shape of my brows and, and then apply more product on the bald spots kind of like press it and then blend as you can see I am just following the shape of my brows here is almost bald so I kind of focus on that so I'm gonna apply product in there press and then kind of blend so normally I tint both my brows at the same time but for the sake of this video I'm going to follow the instruction so I'm just going to tint one brow at a time you can apply less amount of brow tint on the front part of your brows so that it will still look natural but I barely have eyebrow hair on this part right here so yeah I don't mind applying more product in there of course if you want to be more precise you can definitely use a brush I use the brush sometimes but most of the time I really just use the wooden stick that comes in the kit but a brush is good so that you can achieve a precise application I kind of went a little bit over on this part right here. So this is when the Q-tip comes in handy. Look how easy that was to erase that part right there. I'm going to remove some of the product in the front part of the brow so it's lighter than the rest. It is super duper easy. Now I'm just going to let this brow tint process and before I remove it. In the instruction sheet, they actually mentioned the different processing times because this product has six different shades and the shade that I have is dark brown and it says here that the processing time for this shade is two to three minutes. It is 3.43 so I'm going to remove this around 3.45. So it is now 3.45 and I am going to remove the brow tint. Well, this is what I'm talking about guys be careful on the front part of your brows but I am okay that it looks like that for now because I barely have brow hair on this part right here so tomorrow or two days from now this part right here is going to look so much lighter than the rest of my brows so I'm not really very concerned so yeah that is how it looks like this is how it looks like you guys I am pretty satisfied so now I'm gonna do the other brows or if you want a gradient or more natural look to achieve a lighter shade on this part right here I would suggest to apply the brow tint last on this area when it comes to tinting my brows I'm not really very particular so I don't really mind and I'm gonna use the brush to be more precise right here in the bottom part I'm done doing the second brow so just to show you a comparison so this is how the brow color looks like and this is how it looks like once you remove it with a damp paper towel Remove the brow color using a damp paper towel just like how we did the other side so the color might be darker I'm not so sure so this is the reason why I want to color both brows at the same time so I know that I left the brow color on both brows in equal amount of time but yeah I think it looks pretty okay and I don't know about you guys but I'm happy with it 
Hi guys, I'm back. I am so sorry my camera died. But yeah, I have already removed the brow color and so far I love the result. I am satisfied with it. The brow color will look darker when wet. Give it a few seconds for it to dry. Now if you are not satisfied with the result and if you want to go darker, you can reapply the mixture and leave it for about 30 seconds or more depending on the intensity of the color that you want. Now, I have a scar on this part of my brows right here so it tends to look lighter than the rest of my brows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reapply apply the mixture just on that spot of course you can go ahead and reapply on the areas that you feel like need some more I'm gonna leave this on for just 30 seconds and I will be right back so now I'm going to um, remove the color to stop the color process That's the final result and I am pretty satisfied with it All right, now for the review part. Uh, this product claims to give six weeks of rich, vibrant eyebrow color, but in my experience, it does not really last that long. So yeah, for the pros, it effectively tints my brows and it lasts me for a good seven days, sometimes 10 days and rarely 14 days, but 14 days or two weeks is actually pushing it. One good week, I would say it tints the brows really well. As mentioned, I have been tinting my brows for almost two years now. So it's so easy for me to do. Um, it says here in the box that it gives you great results in less than two minutes. In my case, I'm actually done in just one minute. Of course, minus the processing time where I leave the product on for about two to three minutes. I know in the instruction, it says to pour the whole content of the capsule into the mixing cup. But in my experience, I can actually use one capsule about three to five times because you will really only need a little amount to tint your brows. So yeah, it should last you for a while. So I tint my brows about one to two times a month. Uh, product is affordable. I got this in Walgreens for $12. This is smudge proof, transfer proof, and it is also waterproof. Um, for as long as I have used this product, you guys, I really could not think of a con or a disadvantage or something bad about this product. Except that if you're a beginner, if you're just starting to use this product, you will find it difficult to apply. It may be um, inconvenient and messy to mix the products and stuff like that. But I'm so used to doing this, you guys, that it's so easy for me now. And one con is that it is not easily accessible. You, you can only order this online. Yeah, it can be a little bit messy and it can stain your skin. Um, so you just really have to be careful. So today is June 23rd, Friday. I will post a picture on my Instagram account at All Stuff Nights to give you guys a one week update just so you have an idea how this brow tint holds up. Hi guys, so it is June 24th. This is day two of the brow tint. And as you can see, the pigmentation is still very... That will be it for this review and demo of the Scotty Roy Instant Eyebrow Tint. I hope that this video is helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. And remember, be nice always. Get blessed. Salamat. Bye.